Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. It's a Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Let's get into this haul. I've got a little bit of everything, so let's go. The first two things that I got are candles. I don't normally buy candles from the Dollar Tree. Um, I, I think I have in the past and like they haven't given off an actual smell, but recently I have seen people haul and talk about candles that are like, they smell really good and I said, well, I've got to give them a try again. So I got this one called Autumn Day and it smells real good in the packaging. So I'm very curious to see if this actually like makes the rooms. I think these are the perfect size for bathrooms. So that's where I'm going to try them out. The other one I got, I just, I love this jar. It's so cute and this one is called mahogany white wood and at bath and body works their mahogany teak wood i think it is is like one of my all-time favorites and then walmart makes a brand or not makes a brand walmart carries a brand called wana ave that has a mahogany one that i love that one too so this one smells in here very similar so i'm very curious to see if it actually gives off a great smell. If any of you guys have used either of these candles or have candles that you recommend from the Dollar Tree that are like seasonal candles, especially since, you know, we're in that time of the year where you want your smells to like match up, especially living in Florida where outside it does not feel like the season that we're in, I need the candles to smell like it. So I'm excited to try these and I would love to hear your recommendations if you have any on other candles. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been on the hunt for these and I am so excited that I found them. I've seen other people haul them, I knew I wanted them, and I found them today. These are, if you haven't seen them, they're like little cups and it's a little trash can and it fits perfectly in a cup holder. I got these for my car. I think it's like the most genius little thing. I'm not gonna put them in my middle cup holder. I tested it out and it fits perfectly in um, like the door. I don't know if all cars are like this, but my car has a little bottom like bar thing that like comes out where you can like put stuff down in the bottom of it. And there's an area that has a cup holder and so I just put, and I always end up throwing trash down there, but it drives me crazy when I see that trash um, before I throw it out, obviously. So I put this little thing in that cup holder and then I added my little like receipts and like napkins that I have right there and it worked perfect. Ah! I'm so excited. So I got one for each side. I got, I always drive even when my husband's with me, like I, ju I just like to drive. And so I got this one for my husband when on his side, and then this for me, and then I actually got one more for my daughter Lennon to have in the back because I didn't want her to feel left out. But these are so awesome. If you see them, I think you should pick them up because I think you'll end up finding a use for them. And they're just so cute. Oh my God, I love them. I saw these glitter markers. They are by the Ink or INC brand, and it says Vibrant Metallic Ink with Glitter decorate paper cards and more it's a bullet tip it looks like this and it's i don't know if it's like yellow more yellowy or it'll be a kind of gold it i don't know i'm not sure i obviously i haven't used them yet they also had them in a red and red and blue and if these do work i would think i'm going to go back and get the red and blue just to have um you know, you can never have too many glitter markers if they work. So I'm curious to see if these work. Again, if any of you guys have used these, let me know if these have worked for you. The next thing I got is just a regular old Sharpie. I was looking for my Sharpie the other day and I couldn't find it, so I figured I would go to the Dollar Tree. I have no idea if it's a better price at Dollar Tree than like Walmart or Target or something guessing probably is but it was there I was there so I picked it up I also picked up some more batteries I always say when I haul these that I love them they work great for me and so I got some more I picked up these little organizers it comes to in here and it's this gray color and I don't know if I've ever seen it in this gray color I got them to use in my car lately I've been reorganizing my car and kind of like 
revamping the inside of the way it works for me and I think that these will work very well in my little like middle console area. I needed some more floss picks so I picked these up. It's crazy how many different kinds of floss picks that they have at Dollar Tree. These are the 50 count and it's by the Plackers. I don't know. I didn't even know which ones to get. I get them different kinds all the time, but I they always seem to work fine, each kind that I get. So just picked up these. My husband makes a lot of turkey burgers and he loves to have A1 on hand. He likes to put a little A1 with his turkey burgers. And I know that A1 costs more than a dollar at places like Target and Walmart and Publix for sure. So I went ahead and snagged an A1. I also picked up some Yoohoo's. My daughter loves a Yoohoo in her lunchbox. So I saw that they had them there. It was three for a dollar. It's probably not quite as good of a deal as getting them at, say Walmart, but they were there. So I just went ahead and picked up three. With Halloween like days away, I wanted to get something for my daughter and her best friend to have when they're trick or treating. And I was gonna get glow sticks because, you know, those are always fun, but they end up dying and they, you know, don't glow that well. So I saw these flashing LED wands and I thought, well, maybe these would be cool. It says seven flash modes. There is a wrist strap included, takes three batteries that are already included. Um, so I'm gonna give these a try. They look cool, they light up pretty. So hopefully these will work better and then they can keep using them for other things and be able to replace them with the battery instead of the glow sticks just dying on you. I needed a few last minute things for my daughter's Halloween costume. This year she decided on her own what she wanted to be for Halloween and it's so sweet. We always do a family theme every year and I kind of always come up with the concepts and, and it, it turns out cute and we all love it. But this year she had in her head what she wanted to be and it's the character's name is Heart Girl which she created this superhero um, like a year and a half ago. She came up with it all on her own. She just decided to create a superhero and she draws this little girl, heart girl out and she makes like her own little comics and like has heart girl go on different adventures and heart girl's um, like superpower is that she throws love balls to people that need love in their lives or people are being bad or angry or hateful like she throws a love ball at them and then they become a nice person which my husband and I like we just thought it was the sweetest thing ever when she first came up with that idea and it's kind of just been like a running thing that she's always continued to go back to and draw more comics for it so that's what she wanted to be for Halloween and we let her go with it because I can't take like that away from her she's totally using her creativity and I think it's awesome so Heart Girl also has a unicorn like best friend that she rides all the time named Rainbow and so I decided to keep with the family theme that my husband and I could both be unicorns and that we could be Heart Girls, Unicorn, Rainbows, friends. So that's what we're being for Halloween. Anyway, what Lena needed for the rest of her Heart Girl outfit was she wanted a cape and she needed love balls to carry with her to throw. And I was like, oh, what am I gonna get for love balls? And I said, I gotta go to Dollar Tree and see what I can come up with. She wanted to have them be purple. So I found the perfect things. I found these three pack of baseballs and then a six pack of table tennis balls. That way like if she throws them or plays around with them, they're not gonna hurt anyone. And I can spray paint them purple like she wanted. So I was ecstatic to find these. So I got two of these and two of these. So if you ever need random size balls, cause they have like little foam balls, but those really wouldn't do anything saw these in the toy section I was like yep these are perfect so excited about that and you know letting y'all know about our Halloween costume which by the way I am so excited to be a unicorn like I've kind of always wanted to be a unicorn and my unicorn horn that I got is so cool looking like it's totally different than anything I'd seen and my husband is awesome and he's totally cool with being a unicorn too so I'm really excited about our costumes this year so when Lennon told me that heart girl needed a cape I was like Oh goodness, where am I gonna find a cape? I said, maybe Dollar Tree has a cape. And I went to one Dollar Tree and they only had like a um, art, 
like little smock thing and I thought well maybe I could use that and like cut it off and turn it around but it had like art on it and then I was like let me try one more Dollar Tree and I hit the jackpot. I didn't know which color my daughter wanted. I figured she'll probably want the pink but she had said something about a blue cape but they had hero capes which was perfect because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a little cape and the fact that they had it in the pink and in a blue one and they might have had one more color too i just think my goodness for kids halloween costumes or anything last minute you need dollar tree is totally the place to go for that stuff and it's surprising that they still have a few things left they might not have it the first dollar tree you go to so you might have to go to a couple but if you do need some last minute little halloween things go to your dollar tree okay, i have four more things they're christmas related i know i know but my dollar tree still haven't gotten in half or more than half of the Christmas things that I've seen people haul, so I'm so jealous. But these are the Christmas things that I picked up so far. I saw these last year, and they are the Light Up Icicles, and I never got them. They come with batteries in them, and I just think they're really, like, they would be perfect if they work and light up okay. I got two of them because I didn't, if they work well, I want to get more because I think they'll be really pretty around the house or on the tree or both. Um, but I just got two for now. I'm going to try them out But again, if any of you guys have used these in the past and they worked Let me know how they worked for you or if they like didn't really work or didn't really light up Let me know that down below. I live in Orlando I go to Disney all the time and they sell like basically this exact same necklace for like $12 maybe even more than that. I don't know. It's like 10 or 12. It's way more than a dollar Let's put it that way so I had to go ahead and grab one of these because I think a dollar for one of these little light up necklaces is amazing. I also forgot I picked up this bag that says believe in yourself. I think it's super cute. It has hearts on it and I love the colors. I mean, it's not really like a wintery feeling, but it's a cute bag to have because I'm trying to have bags for the Dollar Tree that I reuse instead of getting the plastic ones. If you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, you know that. Except for, I forgot to put that bag back in my car. So when I went to Dollar Tree this time, I didn't have it. So I got two and I'm literally, as soon as I get done filming this, I'm going to go stick it in my car with the other bag. But at least now I have two. And I think this is a really cute bag. And again, it's like pretty darn sturdy. Okay, my last two things are probably my favorite aside from that little trash can which I'm obsessed with I found these two gift bags I got this one that I adore can you see it there we go and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use this as a gift bag it says may your days be merry and what is the back and the back looks the exact same I'm pretty sure I'm going to put a frame around this and have this in my house because I absolutely think it's so pretty and I love like a rustic feel to my Christmas but like mostly glam with a little bit of like rustic thrown in there so I figure if I put a frame or more like glam I don't really even love the word glam but I guess that's just what I'm trying to convey like sparkly is more what I think but if I put a more glam or sparkly frame around it I think it'll look really pretty together and then the other one that I got is this one that says Merry Christmas and has that little vintage red truck I thought this was such a pretty bag as well I love their Christmas bags they do such a great job with their Christmas bag last year the Dollar Tree's Christmas bags were awesome and it looks as though this year they're gonna be amazing as well so I can't wait to see what other bags they have out but I am so excited to put those to use because right around the corner y'all Christmas woohoo all right you guys so that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up at my recent Dollar Tree trips and let me know in the comments below what was your favorite thing that I picked up and if there's anything that I should be on the hunt for at Dollar Tree let me know that I'll tell you one thing that I am on the hunt for at Dollar Tree is this Christmas like box that has like the, tr the one of these like a uh, the vintage truck on it the box looks so cute and I want to use it as decor so I am totally on the hunt for that that's 
the number one thing on my list, but let me know if there's other things that I need to be on the lookout for. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.